So one of the things that I have learned in my YouTube journey is that sound is extremely important. You can have the best video in the world, but if the sound isn't up to par, it could really put people off. And exactly the same the other way around. Your video might not be at the quality that you want because of whatever reasons that was going on. As long as the sound is pin sharp, people seem to sort of be attracted to it more. And I definitely learned that in my last video, which I didn't get the sound completely right and it hasn't performed as well. But in that video, I was in fact given the Deity V-Mic D4, the little shotgun mic. And I thought in this video, we will give it an unbox, have a look and give it a test run. So grab yourself a coffee and yeah, enjoy the video. So here it is, this is the microphone that I was given last week in my video, the Deity V-Mic D4 Mini. Now a little bit about Deity, they are a reasonably new company and they specialize in sound equipment. They are partnered with Aperture Lighting, so they're sort of like a sister company, they're sort of like they're running either side with them. So that's a little bit of information about the company going forward. They have a fantastic range of microphones, anything from something like this, which is more designed towards vloggers, people who potentially use their mobile phones as well, because apparently it's compatible with a mobile phone. And it, you know, from radio mics to what I seem to see to be a sort of like a little bit larger mics as well. This retails on Amazon for $54.99 British pounds sterling. So it's not the most cheapest mic out there, but then again, it is not overly expensive. For example, I currently use the Rogue Video R shotgun condenser mic, which is what I'm shooting on top here. It's quite a large microphone. It's a roughly around about, whoa, from front to back about 10 inches long, and that retails for 77 pounds. And this has been a fantastic mic going forward. So I thought we will unbox this together, have a quick little look at what's inside, what we get with it, and then I reckon we should give it a test run to see just how adaptable or how good it is for a YouTuber stroke vlogger. So, let's get into it, shall we? Maybe we should have bought a knife. There, there we go. Some information cards, stickers and stuff. So straight off the bat, it is it's actually a lot smaller than the microphone that I use already. It's quite, that's probably like the difference in size. So that's the mic. It comes with two sort of cables, which are 3.5 jack cables. It comes with two of them. And this is actually a dead cat that you can just sort of slide off the top as well. So that in itself is the microphone and you can also take the microphone out of this little stand and that is the mic itself. A nice little ditty little tiny microphone like I said it is the mini. Right so this is sort of designed for vloggers. It is designed to be a microphone that you can stick on top of your sort of vlogging camera on top of your DSLR and also you can get yourself a nice little rig that I think Deity actually do as well. It's called a vlogging rig where you can get like a cage, a microphone and everything like that so you can actually vlog using your mobile phone. And it is designed to be as lightweight and as a portable as possible. Like you might see as many vloggers, they might walk around with this huge, great big bit of equipment. Walking around, that's where you get your proper shoulder muscles in and you know it sort of weighs down a little bit. But again, this is designed to be light and compatible. All you have to do, you got these two little side here, you got an input and an output on the side just here. And what I will do is I'll explain a little bit more about them very, very in a second. But of course your output goes in like that and then this end goes into your camera and then you can start recording. But let's quickly have a nice little up close look at this and we'll talk about some of the specs, shall we? So the V-Mic D4 Mini lets you capture great audio without the need for bulky audio gear. Just plug it in and your camera's microphone input and you're ready to go. 
It's got a compact design. It has a 20 mile per hour wind rating, automatically extra track assignment when a secondary source is plugged in. I'll show you that in a second. And no batteries are required to run this microphone. So the battery side of it, I find very, very interesting and extremely convenient. My current microphone requires a battery and I have to remember to turn the microphone on every time I want to record. And trust me, on occasions I have <laughs> sat here and I've recorded an entire video and I have forgotten to turn on the microphone. It has now almost become second nature that I have to double, double, double check to make sure my microphone's on. Even in fact, a couple of videos ago, I, <laughs> I had to ask someone behind the camera to make sure a little green light was sort of flashing behind the camera to make sure the microphone was on. This, on the other hand, does not require any battery whatsoever. It runs off the power that comes through the cable from your camera. So it's simply, you plug it in, plug it into your camera, and you don't need to sort of worry about turning it on or making sure the power source is correct or anything like that. And exactly the same from your phone. You plug it into your phone and the power that it sort of takes from your phone will power the microphone itself. It comes with a nice little bracket so when you are on top of the hot shoe on your camera, it won't sit there and bounce about and you get that horrible sort of like clicking noise which sometimes you can get with microphones if it's sort of like solid, you see a bit of a rattle going through and of course it comes with the dead cat also to sort of try to get rid of the wind. Now, with that second output, this is, again, very, very interesting to do. So when you've got your output plugged in in the back hole just there, you'll see at the front we have another input, which means you can actually put a second microphone, either a sort of another lead that goes into it, or if you're having an interview or you're talking with somebody else and they've got a radio mic, you can plug their radio mic into this microphone and it will, again, record all of that sound going through the same system, going through the same sort of like audio into your camera so that way you can pick up both ways. So as a vlogger, it looks brilliant. It looks fantastic, it is lightweight. It is gonna be very interesting to see what it looks like on top of the camera. And if you are sort of out and about, which I'm sort of like now finding is the more that I do these sort of like going out, trying to talk to cameras, that sometimes I have the sort of very bad habit of looking away from my camera while I am talking and you don't really pick up the sound. This microphone might sort of like cut that out because if I do eventually want to invest in a radio mic, I can plug that into this so I can still get the sort of ambiance sound, but you can also still get the, the audio coming from me as well. But the real test is, what does it sound like on top of the camera? So let's unplug the road and we'll plug this little fella in, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, right, okay. So there we go, it is all plugged in. I sort of showed you a little bit of the difference. That's the size of the microphone that I use already. And that's obviously, that's the end of the one that I've got plugged in there, just there. So this is the audio, this is what it sounds like. I hope it's actually recording. I might see if I can get my little dials up on the screen so I can have a bit of a look to make sure it is in fact recording. But what does it sound like? Obviously right now I can't tell, I don't know. Obviously you know straight away off the bat. I will find out in a little while to sort of like when so I've had a bit of a play with the actual edit. But uh, but yeah, so far everything that we've heard is from the VMic D4. So a lot of my videos are in fact talking heads. I do talk a little bit like this in my sort of makeshift studio garage, which I do plan to give a bit of a spuce this summer. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing that type of video, give it a uh, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But the big test for me is that I spend the majority of my time as a vlogger out and about in the streets, basically. So let's see how this holds up out there, walking around, doing our thing. So uh, let's cut 
to that, shall we? Okay, so here we are, down the back part of my studio. Now already, I can't really sort of notice much difference because I am still shooting on the Canon 80D. Mostly I'm holding it at arm's length away. Weight difference compared to the old microphone, it's not much different, really. Like the microphone doesn't weigh a lot. Obviously there must be a small amount of difference because obviously it's a smaller microphone, it's a more lightweight microphone. So it's, but I can't notice it because in the camera is in fact quite heavy itself. So we're walking just up towards the main road because I want to see if I can get some sort of ambiance sound of the road itself. Now, the original plan was for me to maybe go out into London and do a small little walk around part of a vlog, part of another bigger camera. But as you can see the streets around me, it's been quite wet today. Now the wind's not actually up that high. I currently don't have the black cat or the dead cat, sorry, on it. It's in my pocket just here. Let's just sort out how bright this is, shall we? There we go. But I will put that on a very second to see if it does in fact affect the sound in some sort of matter. But um, but yeah, this is this is how I would generally use the microphone going forward while I'm out in the city. I'll be surrounded by cars and people. And uh, yeah, it's this is sort of like in the field test for this particular microphone. It does look very interesting. Obviously it doesn't look so imposing when I'm looking on top of the camera. And let's, uh, Let's just stick this little fella on right here. Whoa. And there we go. So now we've got the dead cat on the top of it. Now it looks a lot better. It looks a little bit more sort of pleasing to the eye having the actual sort of dead cat on it. It looks a little bit more sort of like, like a microphone rather than just a little stick poking at the top. It does sort of make it look a little bit bigger as well. This is not a very windy day, so I guess it will depend on the uh, the overall sort of if I can find like a windy down and give it a try. But yeah, this is generally I don't know what's more to say really. Like obviously, I at this precise moment I don't know what it sounds like. I will find out very very shortly when I go back and have a listen myself. But let's just plonk you right here. Well, obviously distant wise is something which I obviously have issues with when it comes to sort of using microphones as well. So obviously I'm quite close, I'm a arm's length away from the camera itself. But when I start walking a little bit further back and having a sort of, obviously I know I've got to raise my voice to talk to you because I am a fair distance away from the camera itself. But how much does it pick up? What does it actually pick up if I'm trying to do a sort of like, this is, my surroundings type camera, which I suppose many vloggers will give it a go as well. Again, something that we'll find out in a few minutes when I take it back and have a look on my laptop. But also, it does look a little bit better. Obviously the Rogue mic is quite a big, long microphone. I don't generally use the dead cats on the Rode mic because it makes it look even more intimidating. So maybe this is something when I'm out and about and the weather's a little bit more blustery this might be the microphone that I would decide to choose. The only advantage that I can see so far as the sun comes out is that, because it is quite small, it's quite compact. So when I'm out vlogging with my smaller camera, it might be a little bit more beneficial. Like the, the video I did last week when I was actually at the sort of the media and technology sort of cinema, it would have been a lot better to have a microphone like this. Unfortunately, the Canon G7X does not have a microphone jack, so I can only do what the microphone picks up on top. That's why a third microphone or uh, sort of like a bit of audio equipment would have been a lot better. So yeah, it's it's more compact. Like that, You can literally throw that in your bag and it's not gonna take up as much space as a bog standard sort of proper DLSR on top of shotgun mic you would imagine it to take up space for. Like I said, the other thing about this as well is that I don't need a battery. At any point, I can turn my camera on. Let's get out of the sun, shall we? At any point, I can turn my camera on and start recording. That is a massive, massive boost when it comes to this microphone, I guess. Because like I said in the small little intro, when I would have to pick up my camera to record, I've always got to make sure 
the microphone is on. And I have, <laughs> without doubt, on so many occasions, done a piece to camera and then realized I've not actually had my microphone on and the whole thing's just been silent. So let's, uh, let's go back in to my studio, which is right there. And we'll finish this up in a minute. Okay, so I've actually gone away and listened to the footage that I've just recorded just now on the laptop and it has come out really, really nice. It's, it's clear, it's crisp. There is a slight difference. I don't know if you can hear it, but I did have a bit of a like with my earphones in from when I put the dead cat on the top. And yeah, it, it's, it's a suitable microphone. I can't fault it. I think for like essentially 55 pounds, it is a great, great deal, especially if you are starting out in vlogging. And if you are gonna buy like a small compact camera, a nice little vlogging camera like a Sony or a Canon, anything like that, and get yourself a nice little rig to sort of plug this on. Also, if you vlog on your phone and you just want to up your standards a little bit by bringing better audio, this could definitely, definitely help. Of course, you can buy some adapters that you can plug this, which can go into your iPhones or into um, sort of like what, your Androids, I guess. One thing I did notice, because when I was trying to attach this onto the top of my camera that I couldn't quite slide it into the hot shoe, is it does have a screw at the bottom. So it does potentially give you the sort of ca capacity or the capability, that's the right word, to attach this onto another sort of like closer, like a pole or a boom mic to sort of have it a little bit closer to you so it doesn't in fact have to be on top of your camera, which is good, which is good, means they're full of everything. It is nice, obviously there's no rattle because this is a good little cage. So I think for a small little microphone, it is ideal for anybody out there who is looking to step up their game and you know uh, have a look on their website. I will leave links for this mic down below and also a website for Deity. It is Deity, I did double check, for their sort of their brand down below as well. So if you are in fact interested in upgrading your microphone gear, your sound gear, if you're starting out, if you're looking to what you want to do, give these guys a bit of a look. I should have mentioned a little bit before that this video is not sponsored by Deity. They have not paid me to do this. They did give me this for free when I was at the convention last week. So I just thought it would be nice to sort of give it a review. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is, that is done and dusted for this video. Hit me up in the comments below if you've got any questions, quotes, or queries. And if you did, in fact, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you have watched this far, into the video, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. See you later guys, bye. Dead Cat is a really strange name for one of these.